Hello guys, my name is Larry and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to turn you on to one of these uh, 1500 watt Pearson wave inverters. Now I purchased this one off of Amazon and uh, the seller shipped it very quickly. Boxed very well, as you see right here. I'm only taking the tape off the top, but let's see what's inside. There you go, packaged very, very well. Without taking out the box, power inverter converts DC 12 volt to AC 110 volts. AC out is 1500 watts, and a USB port is 4.2. The way we received it very good shape it looks like it was shipped from an Amazon uh, shipping center we all well know that uh, these things are made in China they are what they are now let's unbox it there is what you got there the box. now you do get some instructions here At least they gave you that. That's pretty good. Take the ends of it off. There's your good image of it. ALFFAA 1500 watt power inverter. Everything you see on the front. Now there's the end of it. Plugs. For U.S. connections, on and off switch, and the USB plugs. Two more sections to screw it down. Looks like you got LED lighting. We'll plug those in in a minute. See how they how they light up, what they look like. From the external part of it, it looks to be very well built. Now I do have another one, and I'm gonna go see if I can get it. I've been running it about two or three years now. I'm going to look and see if it's the same as this one. If it's the same company or if it's the same design. Now you'll find a lot of these are made by different manufacturers and just labeled a little bit differently. But the ALFFA, I've had pretty good luck with them. I've run two or three of them. Let me take a step away here a second. I'm going to get that old one that I've been running for a long time that I have on the shelf. Give me one moment. Okay, we made it back. Sorry for the interruption there. Now this is one that I have been running for quite some year on... Uh, I think I've got I have four solar panels hooked up to it, 305 watt solar panels. It's an LVY UAN Novan 2000 watt Pearson wave inverter. And it kind of looks very similar to this one. They look like they're built pretty much the same way. Now I do understand that I know 2000 watts here and this is 1500. This should be a little bit heavier duty, which it is. You see there, one fan on this end, and really no fans on this opposite end. So this one here looks like it's going to be a wonder to me so far. I think it has a little more cooling capacity. So the Alpha, Alpha 1500 watt looks like it's a little better design than this one right here. Both of them are exactly the same as far as the way they work. This is 2000, no, that's 1500. Both of them are 12. DC 12 volt to 110 volt. But today we're going to be focusing on the uh, the one that I'm talking about, the 1500 watt uh, inverter. We had a company send this to us and we're going to be testing it out for some time here uh, to see how well it works out and how long it lasts. Now let's start hooking a few things up to it and getting the LED section of it lit up so we can see what that looks like. Uh, I'll bring a battery inside here. Uh, a solar panel battery that we have. We got four or five extra ones. We'll put a solar panel battery on it, power this thing up, plug a drill into it or something to see how this all works out. So stick around. Let's see uh, how this thing puts out the power and how it works. Okay, I'm going to show you now how we hook this thing up. It's pretty simple. Really, really simple, simple, simple. Let me readjust my camera a little bit there. I know you don't see the big old belly. You want to see more of the project that we're working on. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got the inverter. Pretty simple, it doesn't come with any cables, you'll have to buy those. These here are about 18 inches long. They're actually, uh, let me see, we got a size on them. Let's see what's on the side of them here. 
It says 450, 750 volts, number two, RV plug. Okay. That'll give you some kind of idea. It's pretty much like a jumper cable plug. Uh, the bigger the cable, well, I say plug, RV pl uh, cable. So the bigger the cable, the better it's going to be. So I know you want to be pinch your own dollars, but that's what you got to have, bigger cables. The red is always a positive. You see here I got the positive cable running to the positive on the battery. Plus sign. Negative, black, runs to the negative on the battery, battery itself. That's all it is to hook it up. Once you do that, <clears throat> you should have some power. Right there you see it. Now make sure you don't short circuit these things when you put them together. You'll have a little pop or explosion there. So practice safety. Okay. There's what it looks like when it's off. There's what it looks like when it's on. As you can see, the battery has 12.6 volts. The inverter's putting out 114 amps, zero right now. <clears throat> Green light comes on. Now, just so you know that I'm not cheating you or something different crazy going on like some videos you see on YouTube, we're going to take this old Klein tool here. We're going to put it on 20 volts. Now, don't get your volts, there's two different kind of volts on a Klein meter. AC, AC and DC. Make sure you use the correct one. Now, hopefully, I'm pretty sure you can see the video. We're going to take it right here on the negative side of the battery and the positive side of the battery. And if you look down at the meter, you see 12.67 volts in this old battery. This is a solar panel battery that I bought probably three, four years ago for some old solar panels that I have in one of my other videos. And, uh, I bought these used for a hundred bucks, believe it or not. They're only a hundred amp hour battery, but they'll do a pretty good job. It's called a UPS12-400MR. I think they originally came off a solar panel form somewhere up around uh, West Texas. Guy had about 10 of them and I bought all of them from him uh, at a solar shop in Dallas. So we know what the battery voltage is. Next thing we're going to do we're going to see how this thing produces electricity or how much it's going to put out, what it's going to look like. So to test that, I got us one of these old demo flitches right here. It's an old angle grinder, Makita. It's about as antique as I am, but it still runs. So we got the inverter switch turned on. And might I say something else? These things work really good for... Say for instance you've got a project outside on a farm and you don't have electricity. If you can find a way to tie this into your battery on your truck with the fusible link in between it somewhere is there. So you don't short circuit anything out if you make a mistake and fry, fry your system on your truck. 12 volt system. Man this would be great to hide underneath your back seat or in the actually engine area somewhere off to the side where you can run it directly to the batteries with the fusible link built into it. When you go camping, man, this would be fantastic. You could run your lights off of it. You could run your cell phone charger because you got a USB plug. There's many things you can do with this. We keep one underneath the seat of our back of our one of our work trucks, and whenever we're doing some work around the house up on the farm, and we don't have any electricity there out in the field, all we got to do is run run us some extension cord right there. We can power up anything we need to. And if the battery starts running a little bit low, and you only have one like most gasoline engines in a vehicle do, you're not, uh, you're going to have to probably crank that old vehicle up and let it run every now and then to make sure the battery stays charged up. But it takes quite a while for this inverter, that 1500 watts, to pull that 12.7 volts out of that battery. It'd have to be something drawing some pretty heavy amps. Now, back before I sidetracked you, we're going to plug this old thing in right here. Okay, see anything change? 12.6, 110, and 000. zero, zero. Now, this is going to be noisy. You're not going to hear me talking if I try to say anything. But I figured this is a really good way to test it. Alright, you see 1.0, 0.2.6 amp, 11.9 in the battery left. Now, I tried this earlier and I ran this thing for just 10 minutes. It didn't draw much juice out of that battery. Let me turn this off so I can talk to you. 
you saw the amps that it was drawing out of the battery the inverter was using to power up that angle grinder. Now the heavier the tool, the more amps it's going to draw, the faster you're going to suck the energy out of the battery through the converter, and the less power you're going to have coming out of the battery over time. Now I can't tell you, okay, if you run this angle grinder for two and a half hours, it's going to shut off, because I don't know that. It depends on how, how hard you run that angle grinder, what you're doing with it, how much draw it's going to put on it on this inverter through to the battery. So now let's try something different. Let's try a skill saw. Everything's going to be a little different. Whatever you're running at that time is going to dictate how long that battery is going to last. The heavier the, the appliance, the heavier the draw, the shorter the lifespan of the battery, the lot faster it will have to be charged up. Now I'm going to plug this old skill saw in here. It's an old one too, just like me. Right there you see it. It's an old skill saw. Had this old thing for it tells you young, so probably two. Well, I'm going to kick it on. You watch the front of this thing. See the difference on what it, drew, it was drawing on the amp side, I think 0.63, I couldn't see it, I'm upside down. But we still got 12.4 volts electricity in that old battery. So I guess that by these two examples of different tools run on this inverter, it'll give you an idea of what you're going to need to power this thing. Now if you just got like say for instance uh, battery chargers for drills, Stuff that's not drawing very many amps or volts. This, this inverter will make electricity for quite some time as long as you got that battery back there powered up enough to run it. Now if you really wanted to, you get you one solar panel and put that outside your house with a charge controller in between there and this battery and keep juice coming in this old battery. And man, this thing would be something you could run forever pretty much. I say forever for as long as it'll last, which would probably be Six, seven, eight years, depending on how you use and abuse it. Like I said, my other one over there, I've had that old thing three, four years, and it set out in an open, open shop. Well, the shop was covered on top, but it was still a lot of condensation got inside, and it still works. <clears throat> and I think that this inverter versus the other inverter, <clears throat> probably manufactured by the same company, but uh, I really like the way this uh, 1500 is designed. I do like the dual fans on the opposite end. I do like the dual plugs. I like the USB plugs. Everything about this thing I really like. Now let me take you outside and show you a little setup I got. And I'll also post some links down below in the description. You might have to hit that little more button where you can purchase this online from the same seller I bought this one from. He took really good care of me. He shipped it on time. The cost was really nice. I I think currently at the time of this video, he's going to be running a special on these. I'm able to jump in and take advantage of that. But uh, I believe overall, this seller is a pretty good seller on Amazon. So you might want to check him out if you're looking for an inverter. M remember, it's an Alpha 1500 watt power inverter, DC to AC 110 volt, AC outlet 1500 watts, USB port 4.2. Now, before I close the video, let me take you outside and show you something that I. Now we're going to have a lot of background noise, but there's nothing I can do about that. Hopefully you'll hear me. I apologize for any background noise that we created. But what you can do is if you just want to play around, experiment, and you need a little juice from time to time, get you a solar panel like you see right here. Something like this. It doesn't have to be this big. Unless you're using it a lot of electricity continually. These are 305 watt Jinkos. And they're actually running into the building. I only have one of them hooked up currently. You'll see they're coming in through here. Then they're running into a meter I got here, which you don't have to have this. 
Then they go into a solar charge controller, which is right here, which is 12.9 volts. And then they're going down into the battery. And I got two of them hooked up here. These are 12 volt batteries, just like I used for testing in there. And then I've got an inverter here, a smaller one that a sponsor gave me to test out. And I've been running this one for eight or nine months now. It's a smaller one. It's nothing like the 1500, but the 1500 is what I'm going to put up here because that seems to be a really good inverter, multi-use, many different purposes for it. So you can see I got it bolted to the wall. I got the positive and the negative. And if I turn that on, let me see. There you go, putting that power. Now I've got a fan plugged into it right now. And well, you can see it's, it's actually running. But yeah, guys, that's what you can do with that uh, inverter. Now, this video is solely for the alpha inverter. This is just one that's only 6,000 uh, watts. That's what it says, but it's not quite working at 6,000 watts. It's nothing like the alpha. The alpha 1500 watt is by far a better, better inverter. So, yeah, guys, I hope I uh, shed some... Uh, knowledge with you when it comes to inverters and again the pick of the day for me is the alpha 1500 watt power inverter converts DC 12 volt to 110 many different purposes uses get you out of a bind when you're camping fishing hunting working on a truck you need a drill no electricity around tie it into your battery on your vehicle Tie it into a separate battery on a farm with a solar panel, you'll have 110 volts of electricity. Well, we asked that if we shared any valuable information with you, that you hit the like, subscribe button, thumbs up, and uh, that'll put you on our list to notify you when we put out another video. But uh, we really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stick around for our next video.